Trimbalone. Every bro's favorite steroid. Uh, today we're going to talk about Trimbalone. Um, it is... There's a lot of myth and mystery surrounding Trin. Um, it is... Every newbie wants to take Trin for some reason. Um, let's take some Trin, bro. We're going to look like a pro bodybuilder. Doesn't work that way. Anyway, we're going to go into Trin today. We're going to talk about application, how it works. Um, hopefully give you a better understanding of it. Okay, so Trin is a 19 nor testosterone. It's a derivative of nandrolone. For you bros out there, DECA and MPP, um, everybody calls nandrolone incorrectly DECA. Uh, DECA is the uh, ester, not the actual hormone, but Trin, regardless, Trin is a derivative of nandrolone. Um, it is nandrolone's little brother, so to speak. It is the souped-up version of nandrolone. Um, the modifications that were made to the nandrolone uh, uh, molecule is there double bonds at the carbons 9 and 11. Um, this, what this does change the properties of, of the nandrolone. It inhibits aromatization, so Trin is very dry. Um, it increases androgen uh, receptor binding affinity, so Trin binds uh, to the androgen receptor um, more strongly than nandrolone does, and it slows its metabolism, making it stronger. Trin is five times more androgenic and anabolic than testosterone per ratings. What is that? Anabolic rating of 500 and an androgenic rating of a 500 as well, making it one of the strongest steroids there is. Um, yeah, you don't need a lot of Trin to do uh, to be effective. Uh, effects of Trin, um, you know, just like most other anabolic steroids, increase protein synthesis, increase nitrogen retention, increase IGF-1 production, uh, increased red blood cell count. This is something unique that, for, at least from what I understand, I could be wrong about this, but uh, Trend really strongly inhibits um, um, cortisol production, glu uh, glucocorticoids, um, which, uh, which is a huge benefit in, in contest prep training when you're under a lot of stress and your body is in a state where you're going to lose muscle because of um, the immense amount of stress that you're putting it under. So just, uh, you know, it makes it a great choice when you're in deep into contact pre contest prep. Um, also, another benefit, um, an effective trend that makes it um, rather unique and is good for contest prep is increased feed efficiency, which is why they use trend often with cattle. Um, trend um, lets you eat actually at a caloric deficit and you can still potentially grow, you know, so that's a rather unique property of Trent as well. Uh, side effects of Trent. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Trent is one of the nastiest <laughs> steroids you can take for side effects. At least for me, it has been. Um, it has a strong, strong binding affinity for the progesterone receptor. Uh, this can lead to gyno in people that are prone to progesterone-related uh, gynecomastia. I being one of them, um, I had to have I never had issues with gyno until I took Trend. Um, it seems to be compounded and made even worse when you take uh, Trend along with aromatizing steroids such as high doses of testosterone. I, I, I don't know the exact mechanisms behind it, but it does seem to be worse. Um, somebody smarter than me could probably explain that. Um, also, has strong androgenic side effects. Aggression, hair loss. It's another thing. I didn't lose my hair until I took Trin. Um, body hair growth. I never had back hair until I took Trin. Uh, prostate enlargement. I never had issues with my prostate until I took Trin. Uh, CNS stimulation. Uh, you, you hear people talk about insomnia, trendsomnia. Uh, trend gets you so amped up. I, you know, you're sweating while you sleep, and sleep sucks. Um, 
kidney damage. I have not seen specific studies on this, but there's anecdotal information that there seems to be some direct or maybe it's indirect effect on kidney health. Um, it seems that guys, maybe it's just elevated blood pressure over uh, an extended period of time for taking trim, but it does seem to have, at least anecdotally speaking, have some direct effect on kidney health. Um, you know, I've heard examples and you know of people who've taken trim for long periods of time that have ended up with permanent and pretty pretty dramatic kidney damage. So just keep that in mind. Uh, applications for trend, uh, you know, obviously we talked about it. Uh, it's great for dieting. I mean, if you're if you're in a fat loss phase, uh, you can eat less while maintaining muscle mass, potentially even gaining muscle while you're in a caloric deficit. Um, you know, obviously there's only so far you can push that, but um, you know, I, I, I have put it to test to my, myself. You know, eating in a slight caloric deficit in and I have actually gained some muscle while, while taking trend. Uh, the cortisol suppression, we talked about that, how that's a strong benefit when you're dieting. Um, it promotes a dry and hard look. Trend will dry you up, make you veiny and look gnarly. Um, increased endurance, you definitely have more endurance in the gym. Uh, that's probably from the strong uh, androgenicity of it, androgenicity, I don't, I think I fucked that up, but you know what I'm saying, um, you know, so it, it makes you more aggressive, so if you're more aggressive, you probably, uh, uh, you know, are going to push harder in the gym, absolutely should not be used by women, uh, unless you want to be a man, that's your call, but uh, if you're trying to make, still be a woman, I would not, uh, I would not take trend. Uh Common esters, I remind everybody about this every time, the ester does not change the underlying hormone. The hormone is still the hormone. Trend is still trend, whatever the ester is. Uh, most commonly, you see trend and anthate. Uh, anthate has a half-life of 7 to 10 days on average, probably closer to 7 days. Uh, trend acetate, a uh, half-life is 3 days, um, You know, maybe a little less. Uh, trend hex, um, which is essentially the same thing as anathate, uh, eight to ten days is the half life. I re really haven't seen trend hex used. Um, uh, there was some, I forget the name of it, but there was a, a parabolin, I think it was, back in the 90s that people used that I believe is trend hex. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, cycles and doses. Uh, I mean, trend strong, you know, milligram for milligram. And it's, you know, I don't know if you can directly compare it, but, you know, we saw five times more strong, five times stronger than, than test. So keep that in mind when you're dosing. Uh, you know, a, a reasonable beginner dose is probably 100 to 200 milligrams per week. Um, Intermediate dose is probably 200 to 350 per week. Advanced dose, 350 milligrams plus per week. I think you're fucking nuts if you take more than 350 milligrams, but hey, that's your call. Um, every other day injections at minimum, I like to take it every day. I don't know if it really makes any difference. It's probably all in my head, but it seems like it's smoother when I take trend acetate every other day. Um, uh, there's no AI uh, necessary when you're taking train. It's dry. You don't need to take an aromatase inhibitor. It's not. It's, it doesn't convert. Uh, you know, maybe if you're taking tests or something with it. Uh, typical cycle lengths. I would not run it for more than six to eight weeks. Eight weeks probably being the maximum. I know people that run it year round and they're fucking nuts. Um, but you know, they probably don't value living past 50. Um, my experience, you know, as I mentioned before, I had some pretty fucking nasty side effects. Uh, uh, anything north of 300 milligrams per week, which I have tried, I feel like absolute dog shit. I feel sick. I feel anxious. I can't fucking sleep. I sweat all the time. Uh, I lost all my hair. Uh, it, it gives me... <laughs> It makes my prostate swell up like a balloon. I, I just, you know, it just, it's fucking horrible. Um, I look great, but I feel like shit. Um, 
I would only use it for contest prep. I mean, that's my two cents. I think that's the only time that it's beneficial um, in the last six to eight weeks of contest prep. I, I, I never got much strength out of Tran. I've tried it on on balking uh, or oh boy, size um, um, you know, cycles, and it, I didn't get shit out of it. I got better results out of just straight Nandrolone for strength and size gains. I think it sucks for that, and and a part of it could be that you're just not going to advance if you feel like shit and you can't sleep. That could be part of it too. Uh, it may not be that the trend actually sucks at putting on size and and um, and uh, you know strength, but if you can't sleep, you're stressed out, you feel like shit. Your training is going to suck. You know, so that's something else to consider when choosing your cycle. I would stick to trend ace. I, I just I think I think. An athlete is stupid, a choice when taking trim, because if you do have side effects, you can get out of it pretty quick. You know, you can ramp your dose up and down pretty quick. Um, also, there's the compounding effect of the longer esters, where it stacks on top of each other. We'll go into that into a into another um, in another video but anyway it, it, I, I wouldn't want quick in quick out with trend you know so if you start to feel like shit you can pull off and have it cleared out of your system in a short period of time uh thank you for watching my video i'm going to be putting more of these up uh hopefully you found this helpful uh please subscribe to my channel to appease the the youtube gods youtube likes it better when you subscribe uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments section. I'm happy to answer any questions or you can follow me on Instagram at Paul K Barnett. Also happy to answer questions there. Uh, anyway, thank you.